So we all know the traitors had a decision to make to either eliminate Mary or Melissa A from the death row list. Weighing the two options up in their position, I would have picked Melissa A to eliminate. Mary had more people thinking she's a traitor, but also Melissa A is dangerous in this game as she has her eyes set on the two traitors. Though Mary and Melissa A both had the discussions about the possibility of Koozie being a traitor, I thought because people think it's Mary, they would be more likely to believe Melissa A if she said it. Once I learned of their choice, I was wondering why Koozie agreed to eliminate Mary. That plain puzzle theory was still running rampant and Mary was on that team. At the beginning of the episode, I didn't buy that keeping Melissa A would further their game. Removing Mary would see suspicion now fall on Gurleen, Koozie and Leroy from the plain puzzle mission. If the others really want to test that theory, then Koozie would be found out pretty quickly as she is more suspected than Gurleen and Leroy. On the flip side, outside of Kevin, the person who has written Mike's name on their board has been murdered the same night. Gurpia in episode 3 and now Mary after voting for Mike in the previous episode. It's funny that suspicions about Mike haven't really carried much weight and it's almost a non-factor those murdered faithfuls have named him though that doesn't stay dormant for long honestly now i'm now looking at mike mm. yeah kevin mm. put his name down mm. mary put mm -hmm. his name down mm -hmm. so maybe they were onto something and then remember who else only put up his name gurpyar and gurpyar oh, yeah. There was equal thought of suspicion falling on either traitors, but things started to take a different turn to how I was thinking this episode was going and it was pointing towards a fateful. Should I have really been surprised? The fatefuls don't exactly have a stellar record at the moment. I found it weird that Leroy was thinking Melissa A had been manipulating him. I thought he was thinking along the same line in regards to Kevin's suspicions of Koozie and Mike. I was increasingly getting the feeling that this episode was going to be an opportunity missed in banishing a traitor because he wasn't the only one looking in Melissa A's direction. My target was Mel A and it was very interesting to have many conversations today because I thought I was the only one kind of getting that that vibe from Mel A. Melissa A wasn't the only name flying around other than the traitors. May's name was doing the rounds again, but then everyone's name did at some point. Some names were thrown out as secondhand information where the original conversation wasn't shown to us. I was going through the episode thinking it was going to be a fateful banish, then I thought it was going to be a traitor. Going back and forth between names, it just felt like this would probably be another situation where some people decide their vote at the last minute. That round table ended up being a lot. The tension had risen to a new level in this game. So much being thrown around, names being mentioned, denials of names being mentioned, and a lot of emotions before and after Melissa A's banishment. May and Melissa A were the only ones that voted for Kuzi, while everyone else voted for Melissa A. When I look at who's left, Koozie and Mike's name has come up frequently, so while I think there's every chance of one of them, likely Koozie, of being banished, I would be more surprised if it's a situation like this episode. I can totally see someone like May being banished because she has been on people's radar, but maybe the traitors have other plans for May. Looking at who Koozie and Mike discussed as candidates for murder, Trayvon is a problem for Mike, while May is a problem for Kuzi. Both faithfuls have called the traitors out, so I wouldn't be surprised if one of them is picked. Murdering someone who has voted for the traitors has worked so far in Kuzi and Mike's favour. Who is to say there isn't one more chance to pull that move again? Leroy was another candidate for murder, though they did question who would win their money if they did. Leroy, along with Mickey, were a big factor in adding $10,500 to the prize pot in the barrel mission. Congratulations yeah. to the traitors. Yep. They are clearly <laughs> doing everything right. I'm starting to wonder if collectively the Fatefuls are up to the challenge of finding traitors. There's been a couple who have been right on the money with their deduction, but the majority is so far off the mark with their votes. It now looks to me that the only way another traitor is banished will be because they turn on each other and there's definitely cracks starting to show between Koozie and Mike. It's currently a small one, but it can easily get big enough for one of them to take a shot at the other.